In this video, I am going to explain you how to identify singly and doubly reinforced beams using ETAPS analysis moments. First, you need to understand basic terminologies. So, first one is actual moment. So actual moment refers to the bending moment that is actually present in a structure due to applied loads or external forces or you can say this bending moment due to external loads so actual moment is also called as your analysis moment so second one limiting moment So limiting moment refers to the maximum bending moment that a structural element can withstand before it reaches its capacity which means limiting moment is nothing but moment carrying capacity of the section. Moment carrying capacity of section so here actual moment will be mu and limiting moment it will be denoted as mu limit if you are mu limit is greater than mu which means your limiting moment is greater than your analysis moment then the section is designed as singly reinforced section if in case mu limit is less than mu which means moment carrying capacity of the section is less than the actual moment which is produced due to external loads so in this case the beam has to be designed as doubly reinforced section or doubly reinforced beam so for more information on the moments of resistance for a rectangular and t sections so you may refer is456 2000 so for mu limit you can refer is456 2000 so annexure G so clause 38.1 so in page number 96 and in 97 you have a list of formula to find the MU limit for a rectangular section and for T sections. So let me take an example here. So 
so I have a beam of size three hundred into five hundred mm. So here three hundred is width of the beam and five hundred. 500 is overall depth of the beam. Assume if clear cover is 25 mm and I am using 8 mm diastyrer and main reinforcement as 12 mm. So let me calculate the effective depth of the beam. So effective depth of the beam will be so your overall overall depth 500 minus clear cover 25 plus diameter of the stirrups 8 plus half of the main reinforcement. So your main reinforcement it is 12 mm. So half of the main reinforcement it is 6 mm. So, so effective depth will be 500 minus 25 plus 8 plus 6. So it will be 461 millimeter. This is your effective depth of the section. So let me calculate the moment carrying capacity of this particular section. So let me calculate MU limit. So you know the formula 0 0.133 FCK BD square. So this is in case of FE 500. So let me check it once again. Yes, it is correct. It is in case of FE 500, 0 0.133 FCK BD square. So 0 0.133 FCK, grade of concrete 20, width of the beam 300, effective depth of the beam it is 461 square. So let me calculate the capacity for the particular section, so 0 0.133 into 20 into 300 into 461 so it will be 169.59 into 10 power 6 so unit it will be in a Newton millimeters. So let me convert this value to kilo Newton meter. So divide this value by 10 power 6. So it will be 169.59 kilo Newton meter. So this is your MU limit, which means moment carrying capacity moment carrying capacity of this particular section so the section is 300 into 500 clear so this is mu limit or limiting moment so i will open an etaps model
Vitaps model. I will compare MU limit with MU. So MU limit is limiting moment. Here MU is analysis moment or actual moment. So MU limit it is 169.59. 169.59. Kilo Newton meters. So this is MU limit for section 300 into 500 mm. If any beam which is having the moment less than MU limit, then we can design that particular beam as singly reinforced beam. Clear. So let me open my ETAPS model. See, here I have taken a simple model. So let me unlock this model. So first, let me see the beam properties. So go to define the section properties, frame sections. See here beam size is 300 into 500. So modify. So grade of concrete M20. So depth of the beam 500, width 300. So main reinforcement I have used 500 fe 500 for confinement bars i used fe 415 so this is effective cover so cover to longitudinal rebar group centered so which means so 25 plus 8 mm diastereps plus main bar is 12 mm so half of the dia it is 6 so it will be so 25 plus 8 plus 6 so it is 39 see here so i used 39 here Clear. So let me run the analysis. So go to display force bar stress diagrams frame so here uh, i have created a design envelope so so my design combination is one point five dead load plus one point five Fly load. I have used only gravity loads, so I have taken 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 fly load. So design envelopes here you select max and minimum both. So apply close.
so let me recollect it so my beam size is 300 by 500 so mu limit maximum capacity of the particular section it is 169.59 kilonewton meter if any beam if any beam which is having a moment which is having the moment less than this less than mu limit then it is singly reinforced beam if any value greater than mu limit which means if your analysis moment is greater than the limiting moment then you can say that your beam is a doubly reinforced beam so let me check all the beams see here here it is hogging at the center it is sagging so magnitude is 61 so let me increase the font size see here 61 here at the junction it is 84 so similarly this beam also so you can conclude so this particular beam is singly reinforced beam because here the analysis moment analysis moment which is less than less than mu limit which means less than 169.59 kilonewton meters so let me check this beam same 61 sagging moment your hogging moment is 84 again sagging 61 again you can conclude this beam is also designed as singly reinforced beam so let me check this beam here the sagging moment is 87 whereas hogging moment is 119 again sagging 87 which is all the values are less than 169 you can say this beam is also singly reinforced beam if any value if any value which is greater than 169.59 then you can conclude that beam as doubly reinforced beam so here in this particular example all the beams are singly reinforced beam because my mu is less than mu limit mu is analysis moment less than limiting moment so therefore all the beams are singly reinforced beams because we will be designing for a moment which is less than its moment carrying capacity so your moment carrying capacity of the particular section is 169.59 kilonewton meter but you are designing the beam for a moment of 61 which is less than your moment carrying capacity clear so this is how you can identify whether your beam is singly reinforced or doubly reinforced so how to identify the moment carrying how to increase how to increase the moment carrying capacity see
so moment carrying capacity of the section can be increased by by increasing the dimension of the section so your mu limit it can be increased by increasing the dimensions dimensions of the section so dimensions means width and depth of the section and one more thing you can prefer higher grade of concrete higher grade of concrete because so the formula is mu limit equals 0 0.133 fck bd square so your capacity of the section is directly proportional to grade of concrete and your capacity of the section is directly proportional to dimensions width and depth if you increase the grade of concrete your moment capacity will increases if you increase the dimensions of the section your moment carrying capacity will increases okay so this way you can identify the singly and doubly reinforced beams using E-TAP's analysis moments.